Hey everybody, welcome back. Looks weird like that. Okay, I hope you can see me. No, that's kind of... There we go. Give me a second, I'm tightening up my crappy old uh, stand. Alright, today I'm making, I've done this before, but I always change it up every time I make it. I'm making this uh, Banquet Home Style Bake. This is the creamy chicken, mashed potatoes, and biscuits. This is the complete meal, but of course I'm adding more stuff. So I have my, since I don't have an oven, which I got a feeling when I come back from uh, Cleveland, I figured I might put a fundraiser together in the you know, oven. I don't know. It's still in the air. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I got one when I get back, like a surprise or something. Anyways, <coughs> in this container, oh, I got my, uh, my thing heating up right now, which is getting hot, at 400, and I double checked it this time. Last time I cooked something in this, I didn't have it on, and it didn't, wasn't done until like hours later. Okay, so the first step is you have to get your container ready. Um, so, okay, let's see. You gotta make the mashed potatoes first. What I do is I eyeball it. So I'm putting two cups. Um, I need another bowl. How the fuck do I do this one? All right, here's one. Uh, let me do one cup first, just to make sure. And all these are marked. See, here's the mashed potato one. All these are marked. So let me grab my scissors. I've been up early cleaning and everything since this morning, since after the kids left. And I'm still not even done yet. I got a load of laundry in the, in the washing machine, and I got um, to still do my room. Okay, now I'm going to get a fork and mix this all together. I like extra mashed potatoes. That's what I like. Alright, this is gonna need more water. So this is gonna need, need more water. Because it's getting thick, but I want more water in this. Because I'm adding more. Alright, so I put about maybe a cup and three fourths. Okay. So I got my instant. Give me a second. Let me grab this remote. Come here. I'm trying to get rid of my shows like in the DVR. Alright, there we go. Okay. <coughs> of course, my fork is going deep in there. Mix this all up. Okay, now I'm going to add some seasonings to it. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Pinch more. That was not a pinch, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit, more, little bit of milk and butter. This is like how I, like I would make the instant mashed potatoes. And I used to eat instant mashed potatoes all the time, but it's like I got so sick of it. It's just it's crazy. Okay, a little bit of milk. And then butter. Hope you guys can see. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah, kinda. Let me turn you more this way. Sorry about this. There we go. Let me move these boxes out of the way. Alright. Um, butter. Should have heated the butter first, but oh well. It'll heat up as it goes along. I'll try breaking it up a little bit. So I just mix this all together like I'm making mashed potatoes. Oh, the butter's mixing. All right, now I'm putting it in this pan right here. And I spread it out. All right, spreading the bottom out. Okay, so that's the first step. 
okay. Eat my butter away. All right, now, the next step is, let's see, I made the potatoes. Uh, preheat, okay. Flakes, okay, I did that in the two quart. Okay, so next, I pour gravy in. What I'm gonna do, you guys cut it out. Now, this is what I'm doing. Here's the big can. Okay, here's the big can. I'm gonna put this in this bowl, and it doesn't matter. I don't need to clean it or nothing. Because I'm gonna add extra stuff to it. I'm going to get a spatula so I can get all this stuff out. What is it? If you guys have a Dollar Tree by you or a Dollar Store, not, ju not Dollar General, you know, it has to be a Dollar Tree or a Dollar Store, these spatulas are the best. I'm not sponsored. But these spatulas are the best. They are really good. And I, I, I like them. They scoop out everything. I mean, that's my go-to. All right, I'm putting in some extra, uh, oh, that's cream, chicken noodle. Damn. I was grabbing one. What's cream chicken? Uh, cream chicken. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to put this in. Putting extra cream and chicken in it. Mixing it up. This will make it extra creamy too. Now in that I'm mixing some vegetables in it. Make sure you drain the vegetables. I'm putting in some mixed vegetables. That's what I'm doing. I think that's all I'm going to put corn in there too, but I'm not going to do that. Because I think this is enough. So mix all that together. Okay. Now, of course, being Carla, you have to add spices to it. So I'm adding some nanos. Okay. The original. I'm adding some TD's Brew and Barbecue. Uh, I might say this wrong, carne sutra, sucra, sorry I said that wrong, just a little bit, I'm trying to use up some of these spices that I got going on, mix that up a little bit, oh and a little bit of accent, just to get the flavors to get together, that's good enough, I don't like adding a lot of accent, I only add a little bit, like you guys saw uh, Wednesday's video, uh, video, Wednesday's video of the or the maybe it was Tuesday or something. Nikki was making her um, stuff. I think she put a little bit too much accent in it, but it was came out good. Don't get me wrong, it came out good. All right, now next step is to mix. I should add more potatoes because this is gonna be a lot of liquid. I'm gonna add more potatoes. I want to add more because this is gonna be a lot of liquid. I don't ask, just put the fork in here. Just get in one bucket. Don't get this in here before Joseph gets home. Okay, let me get this all mixed. Give me a sec. potato and stuff too. Alright, that's better. It looks better. Alright, now I got it all flattened out. There okay, now this is the next step. And it has little bits and pieces of chicken in it. I mean, I could make this shit myself from scratch. Maybe one day I will. But right now I'm just trying to get stuff out of my uh, kitchen and everything else. All right, next step is this is gonna be good. 
next step is we the last step we need to do is we got to make our biscuits now that's what we got to do i used to be eating this myself okay and the kids may not eat this but i know joel's probably probably won't but i like eating this myself um wait how much do i have to put into the biscuits a uh, half a cup so i need a half a cup of water All right, I got a half a cup of water. I used to put um, crushed red peppers in this. Oh, damn it. That's not supposed to go in there. But that, I can't do that anymore because of, well, I probably could, but that's just so much. You know, I'm going to do that. Let me get my crushed red peppers real quick. I have it right here. And, nope, that's not it. I put like a little bit in it, okay, then I take my fork, another fork of course, stir it up, give me a second, Jack just woke up from his nap, here you go buddy, okay, and I'm just stirring it up, and put some salt, pepper, and then we're gonna stir this up. And what you do is as best you can, you put clumps, Jack's here. Okay, you put clumps. Are you still recording? Yay, yeah, you're still recording. You make clumps of this. It says try to make six, but I try to make as many as I can. Okay, so let me make sure this is all mixed up. All right. Now I'm gonna get a spoon. Let's find my biggest spoon I got. Well, here. Give me a tablespoon. So I'm gonna try to do it like this. So clump one. Okay. Clump two. Let's see if I can do six. Clump three. Clump four. Five. I think I can make six. Okay, I got more in here. To make clump six. Alright, so I got six clumps. <laughs> Hopefully it comes out right. All right, now next step is, is I um, think it says to cover it. I should know this recipe by heart. Okay, it says, uh, drop, oh, it says nine. Nine, you can't get nine out of this unless you add a little bit more. Uh, into the gravy dough, okay, then 25 to 30 minutes or until biscuits is golden brown. Uh, check, cook, this says nothing about cover. So we're just going to put it in. So let me bring you guys over here. Okay, I'm going to put it in that big guy. It's already hot and ready to go. Look at that steam. I'm grabbing me another glove just in case so I don't burn myself. Get out of there. Dumb, dumb. Okay, it says for 30-something thirty something minutes. But I kind of think, oh shit. Now there you go. Okay, so we'll be back when it's done. It's three o'clock, so let's check it. Let's see, it might be a little longer. And we'll put it for another few more minutes. Maybe another, uh, 10 minutes. It's all done. I took it out. I was looking for golden brown, but I forgot. I don't have an oven. This is not an oven. It's a roaster. So, these are done. Let's see. Yeah, they're done. Suck my finger in them. <laughs> yeah, so they're done and ready to go. So, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.